Here's an early drum type machine. We've got a mangle on it. Here's a guy that uh, uh, combined the dolly that oscillates back and forth using the rack and pinion gearing and the rocking motion. Here's a very interesting gearing system. See, it's got the floating dolly agitator. Rack and pinion, but it's got the gear, curved gear on the housing there. And the, and the gear Oscillating bevel. Once you get the thing going, the flywheel, of course, has enough inertia to help you get past the end spots, which would otherwise be pretty rough. That's a little clutch mechanism. I can take it out of gear. I call that the up and over, up and over gearing. See the other tater. Yeah. This is the only male washing machine. Uh, rack of pinion. But instead of a fly wheel, we have the fly ball. This is a Boss machine, a very classic hand-operated machine. But then they decided to make it electric, and they basically just attached an electric motor to it. The bevel gear that, uh, that brings the power up and makes the curve to this knuckle, and you see that's operated. This has got an interesting gearing. Uh, see, uh, this is typical of uh, most ringer washers where they come up the ringer post with the power 
use bevel gears to make the right angle turn. But on this earlier model, they didn't use bevel gear, they used series of U-joints in that tube to make the, make the turn for the power. This is an interesting uh, powertrain. They got all the clutch for the, the cone agitator there. But when they bring the power over and up for the ringer, they used this earlier type of gearing. So you can see forward and reverse on the, on the ringer. And I guess that's the way they made early gearing in, uh, prior to the bevel gear, I would suspect. But, uh, See the idea of this machine as the cones are operating, and the head gets ratcheted around and moves under the cone. for the first electric machine, vintage transmission it, it's their kind of second major generation in automatics you see as the pulley is rotated uh, one way then you get the the oscillation of the back and forth movement of the agitator whereas if you go the other way you reverse the motor then the thing locks and then the whole transmission which is attached to the tub rotates for spin cycle 